Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to this episode of G Bear Homesteading the Desert. I want to show you my cover here. That's actually a chair cover for a patio chair. And um, I mentioned before in one of my uh, previous videos that Osh was going, or Orchard Hot Hardware was going out of business. And I found that in there, and it was marked down to 80% off. And it's just perfect. It, it fits right over the top of my uh, washer, my clothes washer. And it keeps dirt and dust from building up on top of it and getting down inside of it where I have to clean it before every use. So I wanted to show you that. And let's see, what, did I, what else have I been doing? Well, not much. The FRP and the styrofoam still on the trailer. Oh, yeah. My friend Andy gave me this uh, uh, weather vane, and uh, he had broken it accidentally, R broke the leg off there, there, and there, and the horse was off the top of it. So, knowing me, he said, I'm sure you could fix it, so sure, I fixed it. Then I gave him a nice coat of paint, and I've got it anchored to the table right now, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount that right above the door on the cage part of the chicken coop. So when I look out my front window, I can see which way the wind is blowing. Or I could step outside and see which way the wind is blowing. Or I could look up at the flag and see which way the wind is blowing. Or I can look up at the turbine and see which way the wind is blowing. But that's a nice little ranch type thing. So. Thank you, Andy. It worked out great. I noticed somebody repaired it once before here, too. The north end had broken off and they'd fixed it. But uh, that's fine. I'll set that up just right. I've already got my compass out and checked which way north was. So, And believe it or not, I got my chicken coop facing exactly. The door faces d directly east, according to my compass. So when I set it above the door on there, all I have to do is align it up with that end of the um, coop, and it'll be pointing due north. All right, next. Oh, look at that. The FRP's still here. Nobody's done any work. Oh, well. Let's take a walk inside and see what's going on in here. Oh, my God, look. The room is cleared out. And Why? Because all the drywall and all the painting is done. Look at that. And I even washed the windows. And I rehung my um, coat rack on there. And I reset my oil filled uh, radiator in here. So I've got a heater in here that'll work temporarily until I get my wall hung propane heater on here. And I put all the switch cover plates on, and I cleaned all the flooring in here, and I finished the wall all the way to the end, and I finished the wall on the outside here, and I finished the opening of the doorway. All right, right here you can see a line, a nice perfectly straight line running all the way down, and that side is actually uh, Swiss coffee uh, in summer gloss. And this side is antique white in flat. So the bedroom is flat antique white. The hallway and the bathroom are Swiss coffee semi gloss. And the reason I did that was because, of course, hallways always seem to take all the smudges and all that stuff. So I wanted that to be very washable, and I wanted the um, dull, uh, flat look on the paint in here. By the way, this is the wall that I showed you yesterday. I, sh I was showing you how the technique of, of drywall on there, and right about here somewhere is where that seam was that we started with, and I, I dare you to find it. There you go. And I could even flip the light on for you. You still can't find it. And my taped corners all the way down, perfect. Yep. Nice job, if I say so myself. 
and I just did. I got my fan in the corner here because I turned that on in here when I'm working in here and it was 86 degrees out here today and uh, that moved some air around in here for me and uh, I got the light on up here that's that's 120 volts in that box that's where my ceiling fan is going to hang so I'm going to get all those wires tucked away because I'm going to run in and get my the rest of my um, foam panels that go in on the ceiling in here and close this in and I'm going to also pick up my rug that's going on here and I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to go with padding under the rug or if I'm just going to do a glue down on the rug and uh, I'll tell you the difference in, and what's going on with that is the padding gives you a little extra insulation and it also gives you a little softer flooring but then you set a bed on it and the bed stays there for oh, 10, 15, 20 years whatever and it leaves a mark in the rug and there's it, it can't be removed you have to change the rug okay that's one uh, downside of it and i don't need any more insulation because i already have r30 um fiberglass insulation underneath this flooring so i'm plenty warm underneath now the glue down it stays tighter to the floor and i don't get any lumps or bubbles or anything like that lifts in it uh, uh, vacuuming it doesn't move at all and that's nice the only difference is is that where it comes up against the wood floor the carpeting is going to be a little bit thinner than the wood floor so I have to put a transition strip on there and that's one of those things that you always catch your flip-flop or your toe or your slippers or something you always catch it on on that of course after a while you get used to it and you say oh I ain't gonna trip on that again I'm gonna step over it so that's what that's what I'm um, working on now and uh, the foam pad that goes under here even the recycled stuff is not cheap so I'm gonna I'm gonna go price it out I know the carpeting in here is gonna cost me about eighty dollars and I think the uh, foam would probably um, be close to that so that doubles the price by putting the uh, padding underneath it so I may go with a glue down not only with the padding, um, you also have to use tack strip when you use padding. And then there's another added expense. When you do the glue down, there's no tack strip. And you glue it down as close to the wall as possible. Then you put your um, baseboard right over the top of that. So that's, uh, that's my little dilemma. I'll sort that out in my head tonight and see what I want to do with that in the meantime. Everything feels great in here, and uh, I've been sleeping with the curtain up at night here because the temperature's only been dropping down into the 50s at night, and uh, it's very comfortable without no heat. Um, all I've got is a pilot light running in the heater, and uh, the ceiling in here is open, and I have an open vent going to the outside up there. Uh, those three four inch holes go out to the outdoor vent and uh it still didn't doesn't get cold it's just comfortable sleeping at night so one blanket no sheet needed a sheet i tried uh, one night and it was just a little too hot I had to kick that off and go back to just the one blanket so that's where we stand and uh the bathroom is uh still as it was although I really do love being able to take a bath in there at night rather than going outside when it's only 50 degrees. So that works out great. I also uh, flushed the toilet today once to make sure that uh, everything was working and no leaks around the base so I can put my sealant around the base of the toilet against the wood floor. And uh, that's my outdoor light there. I've got to get that installed. I just noticed that my, uh, uh, when I checked it earlier, I noticed that my light bulb out here, which is a 12 volt DC LED bulb right there, but it's gonna be too large to fit inside that globe. So I'm gonna have, I like the bright light there because it really lights up this whole shower area outside here. But um, I might have to shrink that bulb down and put a smaller one in there. And then I'll use this bright one somewhere else. All right, 
that's all there is to it. Got my ladders moved outside because um, I could lay carpeting there even before the ceilings uh, because the ceilings are only styrofoam. And if anything, I get a couple of those little white styrofoam beads might fall onto the carpeting. But I do have a good um, a beater brush vacuum over there. I can vacuum all of that up, no problem. So my birthday comes up on Wednesday, and I'm hoping to be sleeping in here for my birthday. That's my birthday present to myself. G-Bear signing off. Oh, before I do, remember, if you like my videos, go down below the video and give me a thumbs up. Like my video. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you haven't already, please tell your friends and have them subscribe. I love subscribers. I love answering your questions. And I love doing videos for you. So don't worry. Just because this is done doesn't mean you're not going to see any more. Because I'm going to move on to the next project. And I'll keep you updated on everything I do out here. G-Bear signing off.